So we started with a very simple question. If you're at high genetic risk for heart attack, can you overcome that risk by adhering to a healthy lifestyle? We studied this question in over 50,000 participants from several research studies. All these participants were healthy at baseline and then followed over time for risk of heart attack. From the baseline information, we determined the individual, an individual's genetic risk by looking at over 50 genes and grouped the 50,000 participants into high genetic risk, intermediate genetic risk, or low genetic risk. We also characterized their lifestyle habits at the baseline and grouped them into a unfavorable lifestyle, intermediate, and favorable lifestyle based on just four factors, whether you smoked or not, whether you're obese or not, whether you had a prudent diet, or whether you had regular physical activity. And we looked at the relationship between the genetics and the lifestyle in terms of risk of heart attack. And what we found was that if you're at high genetic risk and unfavorable in terms of your lifestyle, you had about an 11% risk of heart attack over the subsequent 10 years. But if you're high genetic risk and had a favorable lifestyle, your risk of heart attack was only 5% over the 10-year period. This means that a favorable lifestyle can cut the risk of heart attack by more than half among those at high genetic risk. The take-home message from the study is that DNA is not destiny, at least with regards to heart attack. That you actually have control over your risk by being ideal in terms of lifestyle factors. And I think this is a very good public health message that we all can actually reduce our risk by doing these relatively straightforward things like regular physical activity and eating a healthier diet.